asking yourself, why are you here on this earth? Why here? Why now? We know deep inside that we are in the middle of the process of manifestation of our potential, of our mission. And from this place, we focus our attention on our vision, on the next level of our activity in this world. You activate all the DNA, all the cells with the information you need for your business. And now the light is spreading even further outside of your body and it's going into the world, to all the beings, to all the people, to all your future clients, to all your present clients. The light is spreading everywhere. And then you relax in this feeling. You notice that your frequency became higher and higher and that you are able to do in the world much more than you thought. Okay, um, I would like to, to continue a little bit with what Aga uh, just did. And um, so uh, we all have something unique that we can bring to this earth. Yeah, this is totally for sure. I believe in this fully, that everybody has a special gift and also a task. It's like that we have a, something like a body of work inside of, our, inside of us. And our jobs on this earth is to become open to it and bring it down. <laughs> Because in the end, it's not about how much money, it's not about, uh, you know, it's, it's really about um, the, uh, the state of mind and what we want to be in, in the end, right? A good idea, a really, really good idea that will transform others, will first transform ourselves. And many people are just not ready for this transformation, right? So it's not only that you have to be in the right time, in the right place, but you also have to be the right person in the right time, in the right place in order to really uh, offer something. And whatever service you offer to people, it's always a transformation that you offer. You always ask yourself, what kind of change do I want to create in this person's life? You, you, are in the, you are in the educational business. You are in the business of uh, creating a new awareness. Okay? Probably. <laughs> no, no I, I tell you now. You are, I tell you now. You are in the educational business, actually. Okay. Not, you are not in the massage business. You are, in, <laughs> you are not in wellness. You are, in, <laughs> you are not in wellness. When you, have a, when you have a mission like this, you are not in awareness. You are in uh, raising awareness business. Ah. You are in the consciousness uh, business. Um, because the thing is, in the end, what we actually uh, share is always our own um, hardships and our own journey. Yeah, this is the start of every um, hard, let's say, heart-based business. And in this um, economy and in this time we live in, um, we don't have any more time for make a head business. We don't have time to make a, let's say, feed business or else we need to make our heart business, right? Because time is limited. I uh, do you have some kind of task for maybe next day or next week, which you, you know it is difficult, but you already are, you are already excited that it is difficult because you know, you know, it's kind of adventure. Do you have something like this? And the thing is, every good idea has a twin. Because when you have a good idea, what happens is there's a shadow coming up hmm, to the light, right? Every light has a shadow. You bring the light, yeah? You channel the light as a service for others. Every light has a shadow. And this... Um, Shadow we feel in the form of heaviness, we must, we should, we are not there yet. It's called resistance. Some reflection about this statement, how to work with fear and how to grow. Um, the openness and, you know, the, the willing to learn help, helps you a lot. So this is the way, you know, I was, many times I, I got stuck, but because I know how to ask for help, uh, I, I got this support mm -hmm. and uh, it happens especially when you don't do um, 
like obvious obvious type of uh, businesses yeah and uh, you must think positively you will manage and so on but it didn't work so much and now in the last weeks maybe i understood that it is not enough if you have this negative uh, thought to to switch to the positive one but first you have to break through the pattern a way to um you know because the enemy is inside of us right it's nothing outside so what Aga just said is, is a way to cut the identification with it and detach from this um, limiting self-sabotaging behavior, basically. So this is actually good motivation, yeah? And everything we can um, detach us from, yeah, it, it, it is, uh, it's not, it's not um, manipulating and leading us anymore when we, when we looked at it, right? Everything that is in the, on the surface, in the scene, it's not um, something like a, a, you know, invisible force that's driving us, right? So we make it visible, okay? So you, by this, and by this, we take our power back. Mm -hmm.